The sheaves will come and hack it down. Its tall dark limbs crashing to the ground. Our earth is crashing down as well. Let's turn our earth into living hell. It's okay. preserve our century-old heritage trees from being demolished or damaged along with the historic library commons area here in front of the building. Let's hear it for the trees! Yeah. 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 Let's hear it for the trees. Woo. During these dangerous times and with, precarious, with the precarious state of our economy, it's unwise to embark on a building project that has an uncertain financial future while destroying these beautiful trees. We're here to preserve our library building for renovation, to prevent demolition, and to allow a more up-to-date library in keeping with the scale of our town. With that said, let me introduce a grand dame who holds a worthy place in Woodstock's story to provide a blessing for today's ceremony. It's an honor to introduce Cornelia Rosenblum. Well, shockingly, I was asked to give a blessing. <laughs> but it is the trees that surround the library that bless us. We celebrate them and appreciate that they are of great non-material value. Although probably at first not planned, over time they have grown to create a unique setting. It is in our trust to protect them. We urge all to recognize this blessing of the trees. Next, I'd like to introduce uh, a writer, a poet, a larger-than-life celebrity to present Do Trees Have Standing? It's an honor to introduce Ed Sanders. Should Trees Have Standing? A lawyer friend of mine, that's Alan Sussman, decades ago gave me an excellent book should trees have standing? In this book, the professor who wrote it raises the important issue of whether trees should have the right to be represented in court by legal counsel. And at the close of Should Trees Have Standing, the professor who wrote it, a professor at USC, describes a case in Massachusetts where the government planned to realign a road through a town common, and a lawyer drafted a complaint in the name of a small park in the center of the town of Bellerica, Massachusetts. In the face of this threat, the government decided to withdraw the proposal. The trees that surround the library, that grow close to the four walls of the current library, do have an ethical, emotional, and cultural standing in the town of Woodstock. In effect, all these banded trees are part of a library commons, a library commons, and they should be protected. These trees are important to the well-being of the neighborhood containing the library and strenuous steps must be taken to preserve these trees for the enjoyment of the important neighborhood in which they dwell with other trees, other houses, other streets, for the general enjoyment of all our residents for the next hundred years or so, way beyond our time on earth. Thank you.
time. Fabulous. If we had wine or something, we could hang around here and have a little party. And I think it was a successful venture. Yes, it was. Yeah. Bravo! Thank you all. Thank you all so much. A special shout out to Cinnamon, who really helped me an awful lot organizing. Bravo! Please don't forget to tell your friends to vote. No. Which no. way to vote? No! You know, I took a walk around the block in my neighborhood. I can't believe how many people had no idea. No idea. Not. And I, I put the COVID and everything in the mail box. And I tried to make a big and I did it. There's something happening here. What it is is pretty clear. There's some trees with red ribbons over here. I think it's time we stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody, look what's going down. So I'm going to keep doing that. I, and I just walk around the street. If I meet somebody, I stop and say, I'm going to do it. And I'll do it. We were all close to work. They started immediately. Hi, hi. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? What a day for a day dreaming. What a day for a day dreaming, boy. I'm lost in a day dream. Dreaming about my bundle of joy. 